All right. I had to run to the parts store. Unfortunately, it was a the new regulator did not accommodate the old screws and bolts for the motor. So, I just had to hit with it and now I have a functional driver's window. Again, 2002 Dodge Durango SLT four-wheel drive driver's side window regulator replacement. You, unless it stipulates in the product purchase that it comes with new hardware, you might want to go get yourself some new bolts. Uh, the head was 10 millimeter. The stem was a coarse thread number six. Uh, it's just one of those darn things. Matter of fact, here goes one of the old ones, and here goes one of the new ones. You got to get a new flange. The head on it's going to be 10 millimeter, and this coarse thread is going to be a .6 or number six, whatever you want to call it. I just went ahead and got all brand new ones and just ended up getting some extras. And uh, These are the old ones that I took out. These weren't even 10 millimeters. I don't know if someone had changed it one time previously before, but this was a size six flange and this whole thread pattern is fucked up. But again, like I say, got a functional window now and that's all that matters and I'm happy so now I have to do some more automotive mechanic work unfortunately on two other cars I have a 1999 Buick LeSabre I have to finish or redo my passenger side air shock because uh, the old air shock that I took off was a T-star pattern on the, on the tip of it and putting the hardware on. It wasn't that hard. The old motor mount or the old uh, mount for the sh shock itself that goes inside the trunk. The new one was a Allen wrench type tip and I couldn't turn a damn nut all the way down to secure it properly. And it comes to find out it wasn't a, a SAE a SAE Allen wrench. It was actually a metric, and I've been holding off on that because uh, I've been doing some other things, unfortunately. I don't like doing it yourself, but I like saving money. So I've been got a lot more time on my hands, and I could just sort of, if I fuck up, learning curve type deal. Uh... It's just one of those things you end up just learning as you go. There's a lot of YouTube videos with certain things and certain things don't apply to my car because of different years or different models or uh, something like that. But on this one is going to be the passenger side uh, air strut mount I have to take off and re-secure because I finally got the metric Allen wrenches. And then on my son's car, he has a 2000 Buick Park Avenue. I have to install his rear heat defrost and heated mirrors. He has a control module that's located on the back driver's side top portion uh, near, near the window itself actually above the back dashboard or whatever that's mounted on the wall I have to change out and one relay and then that will be done with his and I'm gonna try to attempt to do all this shit today uh, hopefully I ain't never telling like I say once I get motivated I'm motivated when I lose motivation everything just waits it's either I'm motivated or I procrastinate there is no in between unfortunately so I got one of my tasks finished and I'm about to Go grab me a cup of coffee and then get started on my next one. I'll take it easy.